Hi everyone, this is Steve Johnson and welcome to another 3-Minute Thriller where we give you professional development in 3 minutes or less. In today's 3-Minute Thriller, we'll learn how to use the snipping tool on a Windows computer. Now, you probably in your classroom uh, still have Windows laptops or computers uh, that you use and you probably sometimes want to send images to t other teachers or students from your computer uh, without putting it in a Microsoft Word document. And this is the perfect way to do that. You're going to use the snipping tool on your Windows computer. So here's how you do that. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Now, it might be hard to see on mine, uh, but there should be a Windows button, like a little circular button uh, in the lower left-hand corner. You click on that. And mine's probably going to look a little bit different. I have Windows 10, but it's going to be the same idea. You're going to find the search field where you can you know, search for things on your computers. And um, so mine's at the very bottom. And I'm just going to type in the words snipping tool. All right, so I type that in, and it just appeared right here. It's going to have a scissors with a circle. And that is what you're going to use to take pictures of things on your computer. Um, so you could right mouse click on this. You could pin it to your task bar, which means it pins it to the bar at the bottom of your screen. You could also pin it to the start uh, section that you click on when you click on the Windows icon. Uh, so feel free to do that if you want. If not, you can just go ahead and click on Snipping Tool. Now, uh, I'll go ahead and minimize this. You can see this uh, desktop background that I have. Um, now, your screen might go kind of grayish. If it doesn't go grayish in color, go ahead and click on New, and you'll see that now my screen has gone gray, and my cursor is now a plus sign. So when I uh, find something that I want to take a picture of on my computer, it could be a web browser, it could be a document, it could be just the background like I have right here, I'm going to click, drag, and then let go. And you'll see that automatically a picture is created. Now, um, I can highlight or write on this picture. As you can see like right here, I can pick uh, the highlighter and, and highlight. So you could highlight text if you have text. Uh, and then the way you would save it is you would just click the uh, Save icon, and you could save it to your desktop. And then um, after doing that, you could put the image in an email or a Google Classroom or share it however you wish. So hopefully you find this helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.